Good morning, good morning, and happy Monday. Hashtag my global family. <laughs> it is a Monday, March 25th, family. This is Coyote's birthday week. What are you doing this week to spend quality time with those you love? I can't believe it, family. I am, this is the last day that I can say I am making 42 look great. <laughs> I am so excited. I'm going to be spending some amazing time. My mama and the love of my life are going to lunch tomorrow. And then my mama bear, my mama tiger, my super dad, and my love are having dinner at my favorite place, Korean barbecue house on Central. <laughs> then I'm going to have an adventure with my niece Rootsy and nephew Rindra later this week and having a party with my wonderful family on Saturday. I'm just saying, family, this is a great week. Did you also hear? This Coyote and the Love of My Life launched our very first TV show, Resilient NM Family. It's going to be airing on public access Comcast Channel 27 in April. I'm so excited. Thank you so much to all of our amazing co-hosts, our featured hosts, our contributors, our guests, everyone who made it possible. Seriously, family, two weeks ago, I didn't have a TV show. And not last Thursday, but the Thursday before that, I asked my bestie and producer, and I'm like, hey, you want to move to the studio? Monday, we did our studio tour. Saturday, we had our first taping. Things are looking bright, family. This coyote is rising. So watch out, world family. I'm going to be president of the United States or Emperor, Empress of the Americas by the time I'm 63. Keep shining bright, family. I am a two-spirit indigenous warrior with PTSD, ADHD. I'm a survivor of trauma, family. I was raped and molested as a child as a ramification of Indian boarding schools. My apologies, family. Trigger warning. I also survived police brutality in 2008 when I was arrested for asking the wrong sheriff for his name and badge number. In 2017, I found out my white male academic advisor was sleeping with students and I pushed him out of the university and became a civil rights advocate. I have since taken on 19 cases in different states defending and protecting our community's family. Indigenous voice matters. Our presence is powerful. So keep shining bright. Thank you so much for joining me here today. <laughs> it's Yoga Monday. I love it, family. Don't forget, in addition to being an Ivy League graduate, a published author, a public figure in Indian country, a vlogger with over 32,000 followers on social, as well as a TV show host now, family. I'm an academic and a researcher, and I'm also here to help us decriminalize medical cannabis. I am medicated 100% of my waking hours, family. I no longer get a euphoric feeling, but rather it helps me manage my panic attacks, depression, and anxiety. So please join me in role modeling what's possible and rethinking the war on drugs that was really a political effort to destroy black and brown communities in the United States. So family, let's rewrite history. Let's make a more humanizing world for all of us. Sorry, baby, I have to... <laughs> yes, are you ready, family? So let's go ahead and do our intro. I'm so excited that you got to spend some quality time with us, family. It's gonna be a wonderful adventure. Also, huge shout out to my bestie, Kyla Charlie. It's her birthday today, family. We are one day apart. Talk about a match made in heaven. My best friend is a wonderful person. Seriously, she has peace of my heart. <laughs> Life is better with your best friend. So bestie, happy birthday. I can't wait for our adventure on Wednesday. All right, family, let's get started. Welcome to Indigenous Warrior Yoga with Dre. I'm your host, Drea Beta, real life a Slato Pueblo superhero, proud two-spirit indigenous warrior. I am here on Facebook at around 9.30 on Mondays, family. Always hashtag, always on rest time. So watch out, world. <laughs> Why indigenous warrior yoga? Why not, family? Indigenous people do yoga too. Anyone can learn. But don't forget, family, I am not a yoga instructor 
or rather I have lost 110 pounds and I'm sharing my daily workout with you. Don't do anything that hurts and please seek a doctor or medical professional's advice before changing your diet or exercise plan. We want to make sure you're safe. Just love yourself. Of course, our health absolutely matters, family. I need you whole, healthy, and with me. We can make change at any age, family. And my story is that I was dying at 35. So this is a picture of me around 2015, 2016. I had been diabetic since I was 20 years old and had 20 years of damage. I had um, eye surgery in my left eye. They literally took a piece out. I had multiple laser rings on both my right eye and left eye. Nerve damage in my legs and feet. It was not good, family. I needed to make a change. So join me in role modeling what's possible. Again, the last day that I could say making 42 look great. I've lost 110 pounds since 2017 and have kept it off. I'm also a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with one stripe, a PhD candidate, soon to be Dr. Dre, and a vlogger with 32,000 followers. We can do anything together, family. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, think of sponsoring us by donating to my PayPal, andrea.abeta at gmail.com. Until a few months, family, I put in for my name change to Dre, officially. I'm so excited. Don't forget to follow us on social family. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Clubhouse. <laughs> All right, now for the good part, family, let's go ahead and get started on our yoga. Yoga, yoga, yoga. <laughs> All right, so let's get settled. Yes, I have the sniffles, family. Forgive me. <laughs> Anyone else? There's like a crazy bug going around. But let's get settled, family. Let's get in our chairs. And let's get ready to do this. Don't forget, family. Try to use a chair um, that is going to keep you stable and safe. We don't want you rolling around. And when we put out our hands, make sure that you're not going to hit anything. All right, family, let's put 15 minutes of Zen on the clock. Whew, what a great way to start the day. I love it, I love it. All right, family. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna go ahead and start with our neck circles, family. We are going to go to the right, starting out small and getting bigger as we go along. Ready, let's go. One. Two, three, four, nice, five, keep your shoulders down, six, getting bigger family, seven, eight, nine, huge, huge neck circles. 10. Love it. Love it. Come back to center, family. All right. We are going to go to the left now with our neck circles, starting out small, family, and getting bigger as we go. Ready? Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Love it. Bigger, bigger. Six. <laughs> Did you hear my neck, family? Ooh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, love it. Come back to center. <laughs> All right, family, we are going to do our nose, okay? So it is an exaggerated motion from side to side. Are you ready? All right. No to pain, no to doubt, no to fear, no to anxiety, no to hate. 
And we're gonna do our yeses, family. Yes, to love. Yes, you are beautiful and handsome. Yes, you are wonderful. Yes, you are kind. Yes, you are smart. Yes, you are capable. And yes, you are worthy of love, dignity, and respect. We got to remind ourselves, family, you are worthy of love, dignity, and respect. Don't forget that family. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and we are gonna work on our arms. Arms out wide, family. Let's do some little circles, starting out small and getting bigger as we go along. We're gonna do 10 forward and 10 back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Getting bigger, six, ooh, getting bigger. Seven, huge, eight, nine, and ten. Love it, love it, family. Come back to center. We're going to go backwards now, starting out small and getting bigger. One, two, three, four, five, huge, six, giant, seven, eight, whew. Nine, huge, 10, love it, love it, make it count, love it. <laughs> come back to the center, family. Whew. All right, now we're gonna come way overhead. As Yoga with Adrian would say, family, I'm a huge fan. Big beach ball. We are gonna do a forward fold. So make sure your feet are planted solidly, solidly on the ground to support us. All right, family, let's go forward. Careful. Don't do anything that hurts. Make sure you're supported all the way down. And when you get down, use your two hands, widen your stance, and support yourself. Let's take a couple deep breaths here, family. Ready? In. Out. In. Oh my gosh, family, that's my sniffles acting up. <laughs> Out. In. Out. I love it. All right, family. You're going to plant your right hand and you're going to look up with your left and we're going to reach for the sky. Reaching for the sky. Don't forget, if this is impossible for you, family, don't worry. If you are one of my elders, thank you for being here. Go ahead and plant your hand here and then open to the side. Okay. Oh, sorry. Plant your hand here and open to the side. So if you can't do this, family, planting your hand and coming up to the sky, and you're sitting in your chair, I would like for you to do the same motion, except look behind you. So seat in a seated position, look behind you, instead of being on the ground. All right, family, if you're on the ground, let's do this. Opening wide to the left and holding it for five, four, three, two, and then the one, coming down, coming down, family. Switching sides, planting your left hand and opening to the right. For five, four, three, two, and then release on the one, family. Both paws down. Use your core muscles to pull yourself up. Pull yourself up. I love it. I love it. Okay, rain your fingers down, Emily. Nice. All right. Resettle yourself in your chair. Bring your arms out wide. We're gonna do our gym stretch, family. Bring your left over to your right. Gently guide it with your right hand. And we're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, and release on the one. Come back out wide, family. Now we're gonna switch sides. Ready? To the right. Holding it for five, four, three, two, and then the one, family. Release, bring it out wide. We are once again gonna come up to a big beach ball overhead. Shout out to Yoga with Adrian. <laughs> and bend over, family. Just bend over and let your hands fall. 
where they may. Just take a deep breath. Sit back up, big, 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 big beach ball, rain your fingers down. <laughs> Love it. All right, family, we're going to do that modified twist again. Plant your feet on the floor, take your right paw, put it on your left knee, and look behind you, gently placing your left hand on the back of your chair, and look behind you, family. Feel a nice stretch in your neck, a nice stretch in your arms and torso. And we're hanging out here for five, four, three, two, and release on the one to come back to center. <laughs> Take your left hand and put it on your right paw. I mean, your left paw, put it on your right thigh. Turn around, family. Gently look over your right shoulder and hold it for five, four, three, Two and one. Return back to center, family. Oh, love it. All right, family. I need a little bit more of a stretch in my neck. So I would like for you to look up and really extend. We're going to do the cat cow, family. Cat cow, cat cow, cat cow. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is a cat cow? It is when we round our spine in and pull everything in, and we're a cat, right? Like a cat who's all mad, they're putting up their back, and they're like, ah. <laughs> all right, be a cat family, pulling it all in. We're pulling our rib muscles in. We're stretching our back muscles. We are a mad cat. Now we're going to pull it all in. And look up with your chin, feel a nice stretch in your neck. Your elbows are tucked in and you're a cow. Woo! <laughs> I love this stretch, family. You can really feel it on your neck. Look up, look up, look up on your arms. And then we are a cat again. Turn inwards, family. Become a cat. We are a cat. Meow. <laughs> All right, family. And then go become a cow. Moo. Moo, moo. Mm, cat. Cat, cat, cat. Oh, that feels so good. And then cow. Moo. I love it. Ah. All right, family, just to shake it out. Again, side to side. Ah, up and down. I love it. I love it. All right, family. We are going to bring our arms out wide. Place your right hand on your waist and look up to the sky. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Come back to center, family. We're going to switch to the other side. We are now going to the right, or rather using our right, and look up for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Love it, love it, family. All right, we have a few minutes left. So let's work on our legs. Make a little cradle for our legs. We're gonna do ankle rotations to the left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come back to center and go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna do foot flexes, family. So up and down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Love it, family. Let us switch to the other side. I don't remember color, family. I'm wearing dark colors today. All right, coming back. We are going to do our rotations to the left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Now going to the right family, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Foot flexes up and down. Ready? One, two, three, four. Seriously, you guys can't even see my feet. <laughs> I mean, everything's black, you guys. I wore too many dark colors today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Love it. All right, family. We are actually going to pull it up again. Now we're moving from our support from under to the top. And squeeze your thigh in gently as much as you can. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Gently replace back on the ground. Let's go to the other side, family. Ready? Picking up our left and squeezing it in gently as much as we can and holding it for five, four, three, two, and release on the one. All right, family. I'm not going to be that flexible today. It's been a while since I did yoga. So let's try this out. I'd like you to take your right leg and cross it over on your left knee. We are going to do a forward fold, family, and see how this goes. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the top. Switch sides and forward fold. And hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up. Love it. Replace your leg gently, family. We are going to go ahead and follow up with that twist from the chair. Right paw, left leg, looking gently behind us, family. For five, four, three, two, and release on the one. Come back to center. Left paw to right leg. Turning and looking gently behind us. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center, family. We're going to do, oh, time is up. We have one more minute, family. I like to add it at the end. And that one minute is going to be our minute of Zen. So my challenge to you is to do what feels good. So I'm going to start here at the top of my earlobes and I'm going to give myself a gentle massage. Ooh, that feels good. I love it. I like to start with my ears go all the way down to the bottom. Sometimes, especially when I'm feeling a little unwell, like right now when I have sniffles, my throat's a little swollen, so I'm going to give it a little love. Just gently massage, gently massage to give myself some love. Maybe my chin needs some love, maybe it's your forehead, maybe it's your temples. Rubbing my temples back and forth. I want you guys to take this moment to do what feels good. Listen to your body. Listen to what you need. All the way to the crown of your head. To the bottom of your toes. All the way to your feet. Gently cup the back of your head some pressure on the back of your neck and gently massage those tight spots. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> and breathe out. Bring your hands to your chest and namaste. Thank you so much, family. I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you for spending these 15 minutes with us to make your body feel good again. <laughs> All right, let's finish this off. So excited, do, 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 I just can't hide it, do, 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 do. <laughs> it's my birthday week, family. It's gonna be awesome, hanging out with all the people that I love. 
So don't forget, family, in addition to being an Ivy League graduate, a published author, a vlogger with 32,000 followers on social media, and a TV show host, check out Resilient and M family. It's going to be viewing on public access Comcast Channel 27 in April. In addition to that family, we actually launched not one, but two TV shows. So we are taping our first episode of Divergent um, in April family. And it is all about, it is created by, written by, produced by, directed by, and co-hosted by NeuroDivergent amazing folks. So come and join us. This coyote is ADHD, so much family, and PTSD. And yes, I walk through the world absolutely differently, but you know what? That's what makes me superhero. So let's learn how to, um, what I call wrangling my superpowers for good, right? <laughs> Come and join me and wrangle our superpowers for good, family, so we can transform this world. So in addition to being an Ivy League graduate, a published author, a researcher, a critical race, whiteness, intersectional scholar, a soon-to-be Dr. Dre, PhD candidate at the University of Mexico. I am also a pastor family. I'm trying to work on church services, Whew, but I'm super busy. So until then, join us for the daily prayers. Today, family, it's my birthday week. So it's all about family. Ah, seriously, I could never do the impossible, crazy, wonderful things I do without my global family. It's not just me, family. It's all the people who love me and support me, the community, the entire powerful force that I can bring to bear because they believe in the mission. They believe in the work that we're doing. So thank you, global family. You're amazing. Ah, let me get started. So Gammy, today it's all about family as we continue to make change in the world the game changers in New Mexico, the game changers in the United States, the game changers of the world. Our allies are everywhere, family. Let's make that community and make the change. Gammy, today, I missed you terribly. I cried a little bit earlier, family. <sighs> my other prayer, check it out. <laughs> but Gammy, I miss you. You are my first example of a warrior spirit. You had a courageous heart. My game was a little bit mean, <laughs> but she also was ferocious, man. Why do you think I'm so brave, family? Because the matriarchs of my family are super powerful. So don't forget, family, that we are ancestors' dreams come true. Ah, so keep shining bright. So gammy, send us some of your courageous spirit, your warrior hearts, and allow us to be and create the change we need. I love my family, gammy, and I miss you, and I wish you were here for my birthday. I wish you were here to see me on TV. <laughs> I wish you were here to see me graduate and have babies soon. But I know that you are still watching us from up there. So we will continue to be an example for what's possible, Gammy, but send us your blessings. Allow us to walk through life courageous and brave. Because I know you're still here. I know you're in my heart. And I know all I have to do to talk to you it's opened my mind, my mouth, my spirit, and you will listen. So don't forget, family, that although our loved ones may have passed, our furry family, our adopted family, our blood family, even though they have passed, all we have to do is say hello and open our minds, our bodies, and spirits, and they will listen to us. So gammy as I continue to shine bright, and move forward with the rest of my wonderful adventure of life. As I turn 43 and I, tomorrow, and I miss you terribly. I know that everything happens for a reason and that you're still proud of me. <laughs> and that I miss still your little pumpkin. <laughs> and that uh, you will continue to bless and guide us. <laughs> and to my papa. My papa was the epitome of love and kindness family. He fed us. He kept us safe. <laughs> he adopted my mama and he adopted me. And um, he was a very powerful masculine presence in our life. 
because in my family, my grandma was the matriarch and my papa was the one who went to cuddles and, and safety and food. He made the best tortillas ever. And so family, as we go through this week, as we go through life, please remember to tell the people that we love how important they are, that our family matters to us and that we care about them, that they are important to us and that we appreciate them. So let's be honest, when life is crazy, sometimes we aren't so great to the people closest to us. So let's remember that our family is wonderful and that we do love you and appreciate you, even though we don't always show it. So family, <laughs> thank you for being the best part of this coyote's day. <laughs> I love you so much. So Papa said his blessings to our family. Take away our doubt, take away our fear. Take away our pain, take away anything that no longer serves us, and allow us to step up to be warriors in our community. And to my great great grandpa, Pablo made a true revolutionary and a little post statesman. He rang with President's family and he proved that Indigenous voice was powerful. Send us your blessings and guidance as we continue to be the leaders that our communities need to create the change and give hope to all of our peoples. To all of our aunties, uncles, gammies, papas, those who have gone before us, we know that you watch over us, your inspiration, your role modeling, your lives meant everything to us. We are your dreams come true as our ancestors, so continue to send us your blessings and guidance. May you all rest in peace. Oh, family! <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Warrior Indigenous Yoga with Trey. I love you guys so much. I am also looking for a job, so if anyone's hiring a superhero, let me know. I have been a community organizer for 19 years, taught in higher education for 10, been a researcher for seven, have had over 52 conference presentations as an academic field expert in critical race, whiteness, and intersectionality. I've also been on the APS Ethnic Studies Research Team, formerly incarcerated amazing group of superheroes called Loud. Ah, family, I have done amazing things, all with the support and love of my family. So this coyote is ready to take on the rest of my life. So hit me up, family, if you know of any opportunities. In addition, I am also moonlighting as a life coach. So if you need a cheer person or your own personal superhero to help you get through life's difficulties, check out my website at abetaconsulting.com. Love you, family. The stipples are catching up to me. Oh, but you are amazing, powerful, wonderful, beautiful, and worthy of love, dignity, and respect. I love you. Off to cause trouble somewhere else, family. I'll see you soon.